Whoa, the baby wanna say hello. Hello. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who don't know, my name is Nancy. Hi, welcome. Um, so this video, I'm just gonna be telling you guys my journey. I haven't done a video like this up close and personal. Excuse like my throat. Um, I feel like I'm just coming down with a little cold, but I feel like I'm recovering and feeling a lot better. Um, it was only for like two days. Um, it's I ate ice cream with the window open like two nights ago bad idea do not do that um but in anyways this video i'm just gonna get into how i found out i was pregnant oh my gosh i haven't done a video like this in so long so i'm so excited to just get close and personal and talk to you guys camera to person you know or audience to person i don't know whatever you want to call it but um let's get right into this video and before i leave and say okay let's move on to the next thing um subscribe to your girl okay and turn on those notifications so you know what when i drop videos so you can keep up with my life nancy's life okay love you see ya so let's get right into this video um while i'm telling how i found out how i got pregnant um I'm just gonna do my hair because I just hopped out the shower. This um, is the Drunk Elephant Wild Marula Tangle Spray. And I just put it more towards my end. And I'll switch sides just like this. Alright guys. Let me get my mindset right though. I... Hmm. So let's start off with the beginning of this year. I started having weird dreams of like fish. Ooh, I put some stuff on me here. Of like fish and just like, you know, those dreams that older people get when they think that someone is pregnant. In the beginning of the year, I thought I was pregnant, but um, that was just a pregnancy scare. I know a lot of you ladies have gone through that. I know I have plenty of times. Later on, I started having more dreams of myself being pregnant, but I didn't believe it. I was like, nah, whatever. And then, um, when was it? August came rolling around. And I started getting these migraines, and I just started not feeling good at all. Um, and I have a history of migraines. I've had them since I was in high school. And these were hitting me pretty hard, and I was thinking, like, what's wrong with me? I think I need to call my doctor. Um, I needed to let her know what's going on so I could start, you know, treating my migraines. Because it was getting worse at work, and I was not feeling like myself. I was starting to feel, like, a little bit depressed. I'm like, why am I going through this? Maybe it's just my hormones. I'm about to get my period and it was just like not coming I was asking people around me like hey have you got your period like um, I don't remember when the last time I had got mine like what is going on and also by the way I started um, taking like magnesium vitamins because that helps with migraines it was helping for a little bit but it wasn't helping too much I was still feeling dizzy at work slow headaches migraines not feeling good at all it was just really crazy rejuva beads by like monot and this one I'm just gonna also put at my ends it just helps with split ends but yeah and so I decided I'm like maybe I'm just stressing too much at work um, this girl had left, so it was I was the only esthetician doing brows and makeup at the time, and I was just it was just not it. So, so I decided to go and buy some cannabis and see if that helped because my doctor was like just take the magnesium see how you feel i'm surprised that she wasn't like oh maybe you're pregnant or something but like i said i've had a history of migraines and i always tell my doctor when i get them and magnesium has helped in the past but this time it wasn't really helping so i was like i'm just gonna take matters into my own hands and um try to relieve my stress let me see if cannabis helped because cannabis has helped before in the past well not cannabis but like you know, MJ, my my queen. But um, <sighs> never mind that. Um, leave-in conditioner. Don't do drugs, okay? Back to the story. Yeah. So that was my month of August, and the last week of August, coming into these, coming into September, August, September. Yeah, coming into September. Um, I started feeling nauseous, my breasts were hurting, okay, I was becoming a little bit more worried because I was ask, literally asking everyone, like, hey, did you get a period already? Like, everyone's period was coming except mine, and I was confused, like, um, like, mine should be coming, and why is it not here? 
so um before so in september i had these two trips planned i was gonna go to la and san diego and arizona my sister lives in la my husband was in um arizona and these were already planned like a month ahead before i even knew i was pregnant um, also, I started gaining a little bit of weight and I was like, why? And I was working out and everything and I was wondering to myself, like, why am I not losing weight? Like, why is my stomach still there? Like, why is my gut hanging? Um, and so the end of the week, um, I was kind of like, okay, I'm feeling nauseous. My breasts are hurting, like, to the max. Um, and my, before I left to my trips, it was the night before I left to LA my mom was like let's just go to the store mind you my husband was already out of town he was in Arizona on a work training trip whatever um and mind you my husband um my mom was like let's go to the dollar store and buy you um buy you you know a pregnancy test and I was kind of like no mom like I don't want to know I really don't want to know I didn't want to know you guys I didn't want it to be true but in the back of my mind I already know because God has sent me so many signs and I don't know why I wasn't listening to myself I just didn't want it to be true but um so I ended up going with my mom to the store and buying like two pregnancy tests from the dollar store and if you guys think those don't work they do work I was just speechless so I went to the store, we got some, I was telling my mom no, like I don't want to know because, um, why didn't I want to know? Because I was getting ready to party, I was getting ready to live my best life, you know, go in on these trips, drink my life away. No, I'm just kidding, and I do all of that, but you know, I was just wanting to enjoy myself, um, and I was already not feeling good, so I was really excited about these trips. And so we get home, right, I go to the bathroom, take the test. And guess what? Pop it up. Positive. Positive reinforcement. Just kidding. Positive for pregnancy. I had no words. I was like looking at it and I was like, no, this is lying. This is lying. And my mom comes in and then she's like, you're pregnant. Mommy, you're pregnant. Like, mom, I know. But I think I need to take another one because I think it's lying. She was like, no, you are. And she was just overwhelmed with the emotions. And I was just kind of there like dead. Like, no, this this has to be wrong. But unfortunately, I mean, not unfortunately. Like, I'm super happy about my journey. Um, When I explained, like, that I've always told people, okay, like, People always asked me after I got married, like, when are you guys going to have kids? When are you guys going to have kids? And I would always say, like, when God says it's time. And we've always done things, like, the same. We've always done everything the same. Like, um, yeah, my sex life has just been the same. So, you know, I guess it was just bound to happen. Like I said, whenever God says it's time, it's time. I didn't realize that this was, like, what was meant for me in my life like it came sooner than I thought but I'm so grateful for this like experience and for what's you know what I'm going through um but it has been a, a very tough experience um if you guys want to know more about that about my pregnancy experience so far let me know in the comments below right now I'm just telling my story how I found out I'm pregnant but basically yeah that's how I found out I was pregnant I told my mom all the symptoms I was feeling she's like I think you're pregnant let's go buy a you know a pregnancy test but i didn't really want to know but anywho it had to happen it, it was better for it to happen that way because i probably would have drank my life away like i said and with a baby inside my stomach i don't want that i'm trying to be as healthy as i can um yes this is vaseline i put this to stick my hairs down sometimes i put gel most of the time i put this and kind of just make a line here um where was I but yeah after that I called my dad and told him he was crying my mom later cried she was taking me to the bus station to go to LA I rode a bus down there and oh my gosh that was so horrible like don't ever get on a flix bus mega bus whatever one of those uncomfortable buses 
um on a road trip it is not it when you're pregnant my back was hurting i couldn't sleep like it was just i don't yeah if i would have known i i if i would have known that i was pregnant i wouldn't have taken that i probably would just took the plane i did take the plane back home but yeah my symptoms after i found out i was pregnant my symptoms became worse this is it i'll catch you guys in the next video bye